I've created a session called Putting Structure to Work. So what I have is four stereo instrument tracks, each with its own instance of Structure Free. I think there are four big advantages of using structure for sound effects, and I want to show them to you one at a time. The first is being able to apply pitch shift in real time. Let's see an example of that. Here's the tire squeal that we worked with earlier. We can't reverse it here, but we can do some interesting things with it. One is the pitch shift. Earlier, we saw that we could change its pitch by going down an octave, applying a 12 semitone pitch shifter to it. Here we can do it instantly. Here's the original. Here's an octave lower. And you can see the keys I'm triggering, by the way, down here on the keyboard. I was at C2, here's C1. And an octave below that. So we're way away from the original tire squeal that we had. Let's go up. So you could have an animated spaceship that tears off into the universe and the tire squeal could be the whimsical version of that. Let me go back to this main and edit one. I've applied a 24 semitone pitch bend in both directions, so I can hold down the C3 key. I'm gonna hit this key here, but I'm gonna apply pitch bend when I do. Let's do it a little slower this time. And so you just can't do that with the Audio Suite plugin. You can't change it over time like that. So that's one of the big advantages of using structure for your pitch shifts. Second advantage is we can make subtle changes to room tone or ambience with the pitch wheel. So let me go to this track. We're looking at tire right now. Let's switch to beach. And now we have. Let me just bring the volume up a little bit. Option click, alt click on a PC. All right, so I did this film once sound design for it. And I had limited beach ambience in my library. And this thing had a lot of cuts at the beach, but they were all different beaches. And I was using the same ambience over and over. I needed a solution. So what I did is I brought the beach ambience to the keyboard. And then I had beach ambience at this pitch, but also at this pitch and this pitch. Sometimes you want to double the pitch and have two at the same time. And that subtle change in ambience behind dialogue or behind music is enough to keep it from being so repetitive. This way you can change it or even vary it using the same key, but just changing the pitch along the way. And that's a fairly subtle two semitone pitch bend. So I could make it not quite as much as the tire, but I could make it a little more effective still. So that's the second thing. Third thing, I thought I would build a patch, show you how that works. So I have an instance of structure free here, but it's the old sine wave. So I'm going to control or windows click in the blank space and add a patch, but I'll make it an empty patch. And then I'm going to the browser and I have a gun sound here that I want to use, but it's a core audio file. It's a CAF file. So there's a workaround for that because I can't add it directly to the patch as a core audio file. Pro Tools doesn't like that. But since I'm in an audio program, I'm going to jump to the edit window, move this out of the way just a little, grab this file and drag it to the bin and it will convert it for me. Now I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna go export clips as files. I wanna turn it into a wave. I've already chosen where it's going. Now it hasn't shown up here in this list. I'm gonna jump back to the mix window, move this out of the way just a little bit. And if I switch to beach and then back to gun and browser, it's still not there. 
if I take out the instance of structure and then add it again, go to the browser, look for my gun, now it's there. I wanted you to see that process. You can convert the sounds and then put them back where you want them. By the way, this is a browser. It's going to start at the top level of your hard drive, work its way through users and so forth, and then drill down to where you know the files live. Just putting it there doesn't refresh it in this browser. You actually have to delete the instance and then add the instance back in order to take a fresh look at your hard drive and see what's actually there for it. Now, I should be able to take the WAV file, drag it up here. We can trigger that gun with a keyboard. So if I wanted it on each beat of the music, like one, two, three, four, bang, two, three, four, bang, two, three, four, it's real easy to do with a MIDI keyboard. The fourth thing, I have the guitar that ships with Structure Free over here, and I've gone to the second page of the edit window because this guitar has a natural attack to it. But if I change the attack, I can create a new instrument that doesn't really exist. We can turn percussion instruments into non-percussion instruments. Or I can leave the attack and change its sustain. And get a very percussive instrument with no sustain on it at all. So let me end this chapter with another thanks to Walter Murch for expanding our ideas on how we can use sound. And structure allows you to transform sounds in creative ways to serve our needs. It's really changed the sound in cinematic movies, pop music, advertising, theater, game sound, just about every branch of music. And Structure Free is one of the tools and Pro Tools that lets you do it.